So now I need to make this negative. Now I'm looking at this and I'm saying, all right, a negative number. Ms. McGlillian, you always said negative numbers, right? That's going to be i, right? You can't take the square root of negative 1 because there's no two numbers that multiply to give you a negative 1, right? But remember, that's for the square root. That means square root means what, same, what number multiplied by itself. The cube root says what number multiplied by itself five times. Well, think about it. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Times negative 2 is negative 8. Times negative 2 is positive 16. And times negative 2 is going to give you negative 32. So now, instead of our answer being 2, we can write negative 2 to the fifth power. And then we said we rewrote this as y to y squared to the fifth. Well, now we undo our powers with our roots, and we have negative 2 y squared. All right, so guess what? I still comes into play, ladies and gentlemen, when we're dealing with even roots. I is going to come into play when you deal with a square, um, sorry, square, cubic, eighth root, whatever. Anytime it's even, you cannot take the square root of an even number. However, when it's odd, your, number, your answer is just simply going to be negative. All right? Cool. Now, to really mess with you, 